Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Motoring Adventures. I'm Preston. I'm here at the eastern end of what I call the Texas Hill Country Overlanding Route. This is also called the Texas Traverse on Onyx Off-Road. And specifically, today I'm going to run what's called the Rivers and Ribeyes Trail. Uh, if you have the app Onyx Off-Road, it's an excellent app for finding off-roading trails in your area that has detailed information about trail ratings and difficulties and types of terrain. You know, it's summer here in Central Texas, very hot and humid, not the most ideal camping weather, but uh, it's just nice to get out and get away from the city. If you watched our last video, uh, we recently took an overseas trip to the Philippines. I'm wearing my Beekle shirt. Bought this at a gift shop uh, not far from the Mayon volcano, which was an active volcano. It was very cool to see. Uh, I got to see, visit lots of uh, members of my family on, on my mom's side, and it was great. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video already, go ahead and check that out. Yeah, but it feels great to be back here in the good old US of A, and i am been dying to just get out and back in the Rubicon 392 and back on the trails, explore more places. There's so many places here in the US to visit. I mean, you could spend a lifetime and not see it all. So let's get started, shall we? All right, well, this trail starts out as a paved road, but it does become, uh, at the very least, graded dirt road. So it gives you that, you know, that, that feeling that you are out kind of away from civilization, which is something I strive for. Oh, look at this cow, big guy. I've already seen a little bit of wildlife out here. There was a turtle that was trying to cross the road. Uh, looked like he was injured. Helped him along a little bit, get back to the other side so he could get back in the water. But I'm surprised the flowers are actually still blooming. At least certain kind are. Alright, I'm here where the uh, pavement ends, right by Old Moss Ranch. No, it, it continues on. I made a wrong turn here. It looks, it runs parallel with the paved road. I guess pavement doesn't end yet. There was a sign there. It said private property. I was like, wait a minute. I don't want to get shot. It says no outlet. And then there's a sign that says road closed. It's covered up. All right, still on pavement. Oh, made a wrong turn again. Oh my goodness. Or did I? Uh, yeah, I did. That's the thing, you, if you don't really have this mapped out or GPS, you could get lost very easily. Everything looks very similar. The signs are kind of vague or they're off to the side. We're like due north of Enchanted Rock. I wonder if that's Enchanted Rock right there. See that off in the distance? I think that's it. No, that can't be it. That's just some sort of mesa. But it's somewhere off in that, that way. Might be behind this tree here. It's hard to tell. I think we're too far. All right, I am turned around now, heading back to the actual route. 
It says it takes about two and a half hours to do the rivers and ribeyes trail, but you might want to allot yourself more time than that to allow for potentially backtracking. Uh, you might want to stop, take pictures, that sort of thing. And now we are on the pave, off the pavement. Actually, according to, according to Google Maps, it says 60 miles an hour is the speed limit. I'm not sure how accurate that is or where they get that, that information from, but real smooth. road again this is ranch to market road 152 uh, it runs parallel with the Lano River I'm not sure why it takes you east and then back west but because it looks like if I kept going it would have crossed but it, maybe there's a better crossing that it takes you over so I'm just following it the way it is in Onyx that's well, quite a gathering here at the river <laughs> crossing now. Completed that kind of little loop, but I'm, I'm curious to see what this water crossing would have been like had I just gone straight across the river. And there's a lot of there's a lot of cars parked right here. Holy cow! That's pretty cool. Summertime in South Central Texas and probably many parts of Texas equals fun in the sun by the water somewhere. Okay, now we're gonna it's gonna go north and then west. It kind of does a bunch of like zigzags and The Lee Fest, Lee Feste campground. Uh, I've heard good, good things about this campground. Uh, I wonder if they'll let me ch at least check it out, just to kind of scope it out for future reference here. It's off the Lano River, right, just uh, like a mile or two west of the town of Castell, Texas. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Well, I've heard about this. I was passing through, but I've heard about this campground. I was wondering if, if yeah. I could check it out and yeah. just see what it looks like for future. Yeah. Uh, right down this road, the river. Let's go down there. There's there's just a family down there that I know that's hanging out for the day. Okay. Um, you're welcome to go up. Okay. I've got um, are they... one of my cars to uh, yes. with you. Yeah, that'd be great. I have an electrical area that has nine spots to hook up a camp oh nice 30 amp and i got a couple of 50 amps and then further down this way to the left um that area is a, a primitive area so oh perfect for people that 
Yeah. Don't really care about having a hookup. And they have primitive sites. Can you pull a, like a, a camping, tr like an overlanding trailer to the primitive site? I have okay. a lot of overland groups. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll just check it out and yeah. I'll just head on out. <laughs> That's fine, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we can check it out. All right, so they got out, outhouses. Right there. Picnic tables, fire pits. Right now they're in a burn van. So she gets a lot of overlanders with overlanding trailers out here. Does require reservations in advance. Amazing spot along the Llano River. I'm definitely gonna come back here at some point. Hopefully, probably when it's a little cooler. It is extremely hot, but that water, that water looks so refreshing. It would definitely cool you off. So maybe a good place to bring a camper RV with air conditioning. Well, gonna keep moving on here. Yeah, it was very nice of her just to let me check it out. I'm sure it, uh, I can't imagine like just opening up your private property to you know, strangers, but you know, most people are just out looking for a good place to camp, good place to spend time with family in the outdoors. But you just, man, you just never know who's gonna show up. And then they're staying on your property overnight. Where this is located, kind of remote from everything, kind of vets type of person that's going to come out here and go all this way. And it's very primitive, you know. Most of the, a lot of the camping there is just primitive camping. Not everyone likes to do that, and it's you know it takes a certain type of person. But but very cool. There is a camping option here on this overland Texas Hill Country overlanding route. And I'm sure there's a couple other options. There's also uh, Dos Rios RV Park, which also has primitive camping. Uh, that's a little further west of here. But they're kind of close to each other. I mean, if you're doing just trail riding all day long, these would be kind of one and the same. Think this grass is huge fields. It kind of loops up north of 29 and comes back down to the south. Oh, there goes a deer. Seen a couple deer on this this trip. In terms of fuel economy, I'm getting 14 miles per gallon since I filled up. Uh, over the past 102 miles, about half of them, 57 or so, have been on this overlanding route. Now, a lot of that was pavement, but a lot of it is dirt like this. Uh, that's due to the fact that I'm able to drive, you know, high speeds on this, you know, between 35, 45 miles per hour, uh, despite it being washboardy at times. It's definitely uh, totally opposite of a trail such as at pins where you're where I was fighting the sand for you know 60 miles down 60 miles back that definitely uh, will eat into your your fuel economy a lot more and I was towing a trailer and a lot more loaded down than I am today so oh, here's pavement again <laughs> Onyx wasn't keeping up. I was like, why? I'm not crossing over into that private property there. Uh, used a little bit of fuel there. <laughs> uh, 
uh, just pulled back off of Highway 29 back onto dirt. Now heading south of Texas Highway 29. Thought this was interesting. All right, I just went through one of the narrowest stretches stretches of dirt road yet. Probably the most quote unquote difficult. <laughs> there was a large amount of rocks there uh, embedded within the the dirt road, but it's nothing a even a two wheel drive crossover. Or two-wheel drive pickup truck could not traverse unless it was raining but like i said nothing on this thing is even remotely difficult it's rated like one out of ten it's just a way to get away whoa Got a little off camera there a little way to get out away from it all and feel like you you did some overlanding <laughs> some off-roading without going and paying at a park such as hidden falls where obviously you'll get much better quality off-roading, all different types of terrain that you could ask for. But this is free. <laughs> These are county roads uh, maintained by the, the counties they're in. So uh, it's a public road. You just gotta pay for your fuel <laughs> and, and your supplies or whatever you need. Well guys, that was the Texas Overlanding Trail, the west section, also known as Rivers and Ribeyes on Onyx Off-Road. Uh, my takeaway is it's a very nice uh, getaway from it all here in Central Texas. If you're looking for more technical stuff, this is not it. Uh, there's really nothing technical other than maybe during inclement weather, if it's muddy or the water crossings are higher or impassable. So be mindful of that. Uh, but the water crossings were fun, uh, especially that last one. It was nice to finally get the 392 through some real water. And uh, it also washed off some of the dust, I think. <laughs> Stay tuned to the channel for more off-roading, overlanding, camping, automotive content. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.